T minus one minute. T minus one, Tim runs. <laughs> Like, you know, no, it's still going. It's still going? Yep. It's gonna come right at us. Just go out. No, it's still going. It's still going? Yep. Three. It's right here. <laughs> it's right here. I got it. <laughs> it's more like a bomb than a rocket. <laughs> So in a post-flight damage analysis, um, this time it went about, I would say, 70 to 100 feet. So it went a lot higher than before, but the exact same thing happened. If you can see, even though I epoxied with double layers of epoxy, the pressure was simply too high, and the nozzle just immediately broke off. And you can see from the video that half the propellant seemed to escape with it. It was stable again. It climbed, then slowly came back down, but it landed on one of its fins on the concrete. So this is an easy repair but in terms of the neck design we really got to figure out a way to get the gases to compress without either having the rocket explode or having the nozzle blow off so back to the drawing board